Welcome, everyone. Today we are going to continue a book The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. When we first encounter obstacles, we think of them as a massive fallen boulder blocking our path. We consider them immovable, and find a different route. However, what if changing our perspective allowed us to move the boulder? Obstacles can give us tunnel vision. We only see the obstacle. We need to think about the wider context instead. This change in perspective helps to move the boulder. Benjamin Franklin left school by the age of 10 to work. Whilst working, he taught himself grammar, rhetoric and logic, as well as maths. He used his money earned to buy books on philosophy, electricity, physics, chemistry, meteorology and oceanography. As a result of his own investment in his education, he became a writer, printer, politician, scientist, inventor, diplomat, and more. Changing his perspective opened doors for him. It moved the boulder. Changing your mindset can do the same. Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor, wrote about whether to submit to those powers which threaten to rob you, or decide something different for yourself. He chose to focus on the acts of kindness from his fellow victims, of the generosity, humanity, and dignity they showed, even in the face of the daily horrors they experienced. This positive mindset helped him to survive. Lesson number 3. Action. Sticking with it altering perspective has a big impact. But we also need to alter our actions. When facing obstacles, we need discipline. We need to persevere with our actions to move through the obstacle and reach our goal. Albert Einstein faced numerous obstacles. He didn't speak before the age of three and struggled to understand the rigidity of the teaching style in school. He began recognizing problems in our beliefs in physics, and came up with ways to solve them. He faced skepticism for his ideas, but through endurance, his advancements became highly recognized. In his lifetime, he founded the theory of relativity, and published more than 300 scientific papers and over 150 non-scientific works. Similarly to Einstein, J. K. Rowling conquered adversity. Rowling, author of the Harry Potter books, found herself jobless and divorced in 1993. She had no money and a child to raise on her own. She suffered from severe depression. In 1995, the Harry Potter script was rejected by 12 publishers. She persevered, and a year later the script was published by a small publisher. She has now sold over 400 million copies worldwide, and is recognized as the most successful female author in the UK. It is this determination to succeed that separates the wheat from the chaff. It determines whether you achieve your goals, or fail to beat the obstacles. Now, with big goals, obstacles often appear incessantly. Every step of the way you face a challenge. Focusing on each individual moment and the overall process can help you to overcome these never-ending obstacles. Take Sean Carter Jay-Z, an American rapper and songwriter. He came from a disadvantaged Brooklyn neighborhood. He wanted to become a rapper, but no record label would sign him. So, he focused on the individual moment. He created his own music label, which allowed him to release his music. He gained popularity, and now has an estimated net worth of 500 million. He took advantage of the challenges, and made them into an opportunity. You can also achieve this by focusing on the overall process, not on the goal. For example, if your goal is to run a marathon, Focus instead on running 5 hours this week. Then maybe the following week, increase this to 7 hours. This breaks it down, allowing you to focus on the process, not be blindsided by the seemingly insurmountable goal. This is how your actions can assist you in overcoming obstacles. You see, by utilizing the obstacle's strength to your advantage, it can be conquered. The difficulty arises when facing obstacle after obstacle. Let's continue in part 5 of the upcoming video. There are links to the previous segment of the video in the description box.